वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क एंड दिस वीडियो दैट आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट इन दैट स्टूडेंट हैव मैंशन मी दैट कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू सॉल्व जी पैरामीटर एंड एच पैरामीटर एज यू हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट फॉर जेड पैरामीटर एंड वाई पैरामीटर so i thought i should give you little bit idea about how to calculate g parameter and h parameter by deriving equations as if you have question based on only one element in that case by having short circuit and open circuit we can calculate individual element like g12 or g11 or h12 or h21 like that right but when you want to calculate matrix at the time you should follow basic standard process of equations then it will be convenient for you to solve problem based on h parameter and g parameter so let us have first question here so if you observe here we are having t shaped network and for that we are dealing with to find h parameters so whenever you have t shaped network here current i1 and i2 is entering at this node so you can say here current will be i1 plus i2 and by simply applying loops over here we can find two equations right so let us apply kvl in loop 1 so if you apply kvl in loop 1 you see this v1 that is appearing from minus to plus so i can say v1 is equals to through this 2 ohm resistor in this loop current is i1 in the direction of loop so here voltage will be 2 into i1 plus through this 6 ohm resistor current is i1 plus i2 in the direction of loop so i can say 6 into i1 plus i2 so if you simplify this equation then v1 is equals to 2 plus 6 that is 8 i1 plus 6 i2 now let us say this is equation 1 and we will apply kvl in loop 2 so if you apply kvl in loop 2 you see this v2 is appearing from minus to plus so i can say v2 is equals to see through this 3 ohm resistor current is i2 so i can say voltage across 3 ohm is 3 i2 and through this 6 ohm resistor in the direction of loop current is i1 plus i2 so voltage across 6 ohm is 6 into i1 plus i2 so i can say v2 is equals to in terms of i1 we have 6 i1 plus with i2 3 plus 6 means 9 i2 is there so this is my equation 2 now my dear students we want to calculate h parameters so you should know the basic equation of h parameters so h parameter equation that you can remember as per v1 i2 is there based on i1 v2 so whenever you want to form equation of h parameter this is very essential v1 i2 equations are there based on i1 v2 so one equation is there based on v1 and that is v1 is based on i1 v2 and second equation of i2 that is again based on i1 v2 that is how you should have two equations then directly you can have h parameters right so now if you see we have two equations over here in which see this first equation that is of v1 i1 and i2 now you see here we have v1 i1 and v2 so you cannot form this relation over here now if you see v2 is there based on i1 i2 so you see here v1 is there based on i1 v i1 v2 so this is also not possible but if you see this i2 is based on i1 v2 so i2 can be replaced over here based on i1 v2 as per this equation so i'll show you how to do that so let us take equation 2 first now you see i want to get equation of i2 based on i1 v2 so what i can do is i can take 9 i2 as a major term that is equals to now you see this 6 i1 that will go on other side so that will be minus 6 i1 plus v2 right and 
now i want i2 in form of i1 v2 so i need to divide this by 9 so i2 is equals to minus 6 by 9 means it is minus 2 by 3 i1 plus v2 by 9 so this is one equation let us say this is equation 3 and this is what equation which is there with h parameter right now we wanted to have v1 equation in form of i1 v2 now you see we got the value of i2 in form of i1 v2 if you substitute this in equation 1 then you can have v1 in form of i1 v2 right so let us substitute equation 3 in equation 1 so v1 is equals to 8 into i1 and 6 into i2 now you see i2 is minus 2 by 3 i i1 plus v2 by 9 so i'm placing that over here and now let us simplify this so v1 is equals to now you see 8 i1 plus 6 into minus 2 by 3 i1 so this will be 6 into minus 2 by 3 means it is minus 4 so 8 minus 4 that will be 4 i1 and plus you see 6 into v2 by 9 means it will be 2 by 3 v2 that i can say so this is my equation 4 now we have these two equations and based on that i can write h parameter so h parameter that is h11 h12 h21 h22 now you see this h11 and h212 that is based on v1 equation right so v1 is having 4 coefficient with i1 and 2 by 3 coefficient with v2 so i can say h11 that is 4 over here and h12 that is 2 by 3 over here right now this i2 equation that will gives you h21 and h22 so you see with i1 we have minus 2 by 3 and with v2 we have 1 by 9 right so that is how we can have h matrix so simply by comparing this equation in form of v1 i2 based on i1 v2 we can get h parameter matrix so my dear students you should do this practice and based on that you can calculate h parameter now i'll give you one more problem based on g parameter so that will resolve your understanding further so let us have one more question now over here you see we have two port network for which we are dealing with to find g parameter right now as if you have this type of network and as if you convert that in terms of pi or t shaped network then you will be having easier calculation right so what i'll be doing is i'll be converting this delta into star and once you convert that into star you can easily find g parameters so you see how i'm doing this so i'm considering star over here inside delta and then i'll explain you how to find the values so you see this is equivalent star connection of this delta connection right now how to find the values so you see all three resistors are same so in star also you will be having same resistor so only one resistor that we need to find so if you want to find this resistor then that will be multiplication of this two resistor divided by addition of all three so any one element that we can calculate like if you want to calculate this resistor then that will be 10 into 10 divided by algebraic sum of all three so that will be 10 plus 10 plus 10 so that will be 100 by 30 means 3.33 ohm now if you replace this star over here with this delta then we can have t shaped network let me show you how it is happening so you see over here we have 10 ohm in series with this and this is 3.33 so 10 plus 3.33 that will be 13.33 ohm now this resistor that is of 3.33 ohm so i can connect 3.33 ohm over here and you see this resistor that is connected with port 2 and that is also of 3.33 ohm so now i have equivalent circuit 
of this network now as if you have this type of network then easily we can find two equations right you see here current entering is this current plus this current right so leaving current will be i1 plus i2 now by simply applying two loops one loop is over here and second loop is over here we can have two equations right so let us apply kvl in loop 1 now if you apply kvl in loop 1 you see this v1 is happening from minus 2 plus so i can write v1 is equals to now see in this loop through this resistor current is i1 right and it is there in the direction of loop so i can say 13.33 into i1 is potential across this plus through this 3.33 ohm resistance in the direction of loop current is i1 plus i2 so i can say 3.33 into i1 plus i2 now you see this v1 is equals to with i1 13.33 plus 3.33 is there so i can say 16.33 i1 plus with i2 we have 3.33 right so this is my equation one now let us consider second loop to have second equation so you see in this loop this v2 is happening from minus 2 plus so i should be writing v2 is equals to through this 3.33 ohm resistor current is i2 so i can say 3.33 i2 plus through this 3.33 ohm resistor current is i1 plus i2 so i can say 3.33 into i1 plus i2 so that is how we can have second equation let us simplify this so v2 is equals to with i1 3.33 i1 is there and with i2 3.33 plus 3.33 means 6.66 i2 is there with us so this is our second equation right now we have two equations right and we wanted to have a calculation of g parameter so you should know the basic equations which is there with g parameter so with g parameter you should know equation of i1 v2 that is there based on g parameter with v1 i2 so for g parameter calculation i1 v2 equation that will be there based on v1 i2 right now you see we have two equations over here now if you see this equation is of v1 based on i1 i2 now you see if you see first equation of g parameter that is of i1 based on v1 i2 so what i can do is i can convert this first equation in form of i1 based on v1 i2 so let us take equation one first i'll show you how to convert this now i want this equation in form of i1 so i'm taking 16.33 i1 that is equals to see this v1 is there and this will go on other side so it will be minus 3.33 i2 right now i want i1 in form of this so i1 will be 16.33 that i need to divide it over here so v1 divided by 16.33 minus 3.33 divided by 16.33 i2 that is how first equation is there you see i1 is there in form of v1 i2 right so let us say this is equation 3 now we wanted to have v2 in form of v1 i2 so if you see this equation v2 is there in form of i1 i2 so if you substitute i1 in this equation then we can have v2 in form of v1 i2 right so let us substitute equation 3 in equation 2 so v2 is equals to 3.33 i1 is there now see i1 is this so let me put it over here plus 6.66 i2 let us simplify this first so v2 is 3.33 divided by 16.33 v1 right so i need to write this first 3.33 divided by 16.33 v1 and with i2 you see we have 3.33 into minus 3.33 so i can say minus 3.33 into 3.33 divided by 
16.33 and plus 6.66 right so that is how we have term which is there with i2 so now all i can say is here we have these two equations which is there in form of g parameter right so let us identify g matrix based on these two equations so you see what is g matrix g matrix is g11 g12 g21 g22 and you see g11 g12 that is there based on equation of i1 in form of v1 i2 right so equation of i1 with coefficient v1 we have 1 by 16.33 right so that is g11 and with i2 we have g12 that is minus 3.33 divided by 16.33 now see for g21 and g22 as per v2 in form of v1 i2 equation will be used so you see g21 that is this which is 3.33 divided by 16.33 and g22 that is this let me write this first here then after i'll calculate that in calculator that is how it is there now let us find this in calculator so g11 that is 1 by 16.33 so that is 0.06 now g12 that is minus 3.33 divided by 16.33 so that is minus 0.2 so obviously this should be plus 0.2 and let us find this first in calculator so this is approximately 6 right so that is how we can have g parameter calculation i hope you have understood this Still, if you have any query, you just place that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.